Okay, this uh, tune-up is for the Avora. It is a Class A, and this one is specifically for uh, Tripod, the one that he and I have been working on. Tires are pretty much unchanged from what we had. 30 front, 29 and a half in the rear. Uh, gearing. I did adjust the final drive downward slightly. Um, after you leave the hairpin on Brands Hatch, this gives you a little bit more gearing to stay in the second gear a little bit longer. Alignment. I went down to minus one negative camber in the front, uh, 0.8 negative camber in the rear. I'm at 0.4 toe in on the rear. That gives a lot more stability. I haven't adjusted the uh, caster angle. Actually, that might actually stabilize things a little bit, so that's one more thing I can actually look at. Anti-roll bars. Stiffened up in the front quite a bit. 3072. Softened the rear bars a fair amount. Springs. Uh, since the tune that you and I shared, I've actually lowered the front springs increased, or pardon me, increased the front springs, lowered the rear springs, both front and rear. Um, anyway, and uh, basically wanted to try to keep as much weight on the rear end as long as possible. Damping. Uh, you can see the numbers I've got here. Softened the front rebound, stiffened the rear rebound, hardened the front bump, softened the rear bump. Uh, this means that it will transfer weight backwards and give you a little bit more of a uh, transition to get more weight on the rear end and it means it will have very little transitions uh, moving forward to minimize the amount of weight transfer moving forward. Arrow, I just went full on the front or full on front and rear. Brakes, uh, this one tripod notice I set it to the 90 so that that's what you wanted. I know you like it better that way so there you go. Differential, 5% under acceleration 0% under deceleration. The, the back end on this thing is fragile enough in terms of trying to keep it un, under control under a lot of things, so that's the last I'm going to do. So, okay. Go the, so, what do we have changed on here? Camshaft. Got rid of the oil cooler. Added that. Added the low, lightweight flywheel. Obviously, I went, you know, have race all the way across there. I have no roll cage, and I've gone down to the sport weight reduction. Chassis, full, full, and there's nothing here. Tires, race com or to go to race compound. Um, front is stock. Rear is wider slightly. Going with stock rims didn't do anything on the diameter and of course I've got uh, Forza Aero front, Forza Aero rear. And so that's the Evora. I've been able to get down to 138 and